Welcome to the uh, preclinical manufacturing of process development labs. This is where we actually will make and manufacture the antibodies against the COVID-19. When it comes to the coronavirus, we hope and pray that this government and other governments will get out in front of it. Emergency sub spending bill for coronavirus that was passed by Congress yesterday. In the months since the novel coronavirus went from a regional crisis to a global threat, U.S. drug makers have felt pressure to get a vaccine or a treatment to the market as quickly as possible. Scientists at Regeneron, a pharmaceutical company outside New York City, are developing a treatment for COVID-19. First thing we do, um, we get cell lines that are genetically engineered to produce the antibodies. We'll thaw them, we'll get a vial of frozen cells, and then we thaw them, and we put them into what's called a shaker flask. And this is a good representation of our shaker flask. So we have varying sizes, but we started with a really small one. And then from there, we want to keep expanding the volume of cells that we have um, through different steps. But Regeneron is not the only company looking for a treatment. Across the country and the world, scientists are racing to develop a vaccine or a treatment to contain the outbreak. Being the first to do so would mean world recognition and potentially millions of dollars in profits. At Regeneron, the hope is to have a treatment ready for human testing by summer of 2020. We will have people that will be dedicated and focused on this program. What it means for us is that we basically start as soon as they say go. We, we don't care about schedule or when different unit operations will fall, it doesn't matter. We just go. So we'll thaw immediately the vial of cells and um, we will have people dedicated and basically shepherding this process through. But which is better to have first, a vaccine or a treatment? A vaccine is something that you are administering to an individual in order to mount an immune response against usually a pathogen, a virus, some kind of bacterium or something like that. Usually, after you administer a vaccine, it takes a certain amount of time for your immune system to respond, develop antibodies that are neutralizing or can fight the uh, infection. So for a short period of time between the administration and your immune system kicking in, you're not protected against the pathogen. On the other hand, when you're passively administering an antibody, you are protected if, you're, if you can administer enough antibody and there's enough antibody in circulation of an individual, you're protected from the pathogen from day one. Most companies like Regeneron are striving to get a treatment or a vaccine, even if it means it won't be ready for this outbreak. Our hope, of course, is that the number of cases is going to start decreasing um, and then the drugs that we are developing are eventually not going to be used, uh, which is actually what happened with the, uh, the drugs we developed against Ebola. And then we were able to have something on hand when Ebola came back uh, two years later. We don't know exactly what's going to happen with this coronavirus. We don't know if it's going to go away soon. We don't know if it's going to come back in the fall or next year. We don't even know if there's seasonality right now. So we just need to be prepared and have something that is going to be available.